Hello Kettle Corn Cousins, this is Mitch, your welder fabricator at KettleCornSupplies.com. Um, I'm the guy you talk to when you, you get a phone call, when you call. So I get a lot of the same questions, so I'm going to do a couple of videos kind of explaining some of the questions I get asked. Instead of, just, instead of just doing a frequently asked question page and you know have you look at that, you can call me anytime, but sometimes the video is easier to explain things and you can see things visually. So what I'm going to talk about today is just the bags, where I get the bag. That's one of the common questions I get. So let's start with the bags and the size and how much they are, where you can get them. This is the typical kettle corn bag. They're all, the ones I get anyway, are all 8 inches. This one happens to be 2 feet, 24 inches. Then I have the next size, that's my large. This is my medium, it's uh, 18 inches. Again, 8 inches wide. And this is the small. The small is 12 inches. What it looks like when it's all bagged up is this. This is a, a $3 small bag. This is a medium bag. It is $5. is what I charge. And this is the large. The large I sell for $7. And I get a lot of people that buy the large, but I seem to sell probably the the uh, medium the most. The mediums is an easy way to just hand somebody a five. If they have a five in their in their wallet, they usually buy it. Um, they don't like to break tens. If you're buying for a whole bunch of people, they'll do it. But uh, usually they'll um, uh, usually go with the five, and that's why I sell more more of these than anything else. Now, where can you excuse me? Where can you get them? Well, there's a place here in Tacoma, and they have. In fact, let me show you. I got one in the so you can see the the. Uh, graphics better. They have this pre-made and they, they have thousands, tens of thousands of them ready to go. You just call them up. They're called Poly Bag, uh, Poly Bag Company. Poly Bag. Anyway, and their website is P-O-L-Y-B-A-G-L-L-C. It's a really generic website. It's kind of, you'll wonder why you're, 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 you might even think you're on the wrong page. But just go to their contact page and get their phone number, give them a call and see if they'll send you a couple of these samples so you can kind of see what it is you're getting. However, these are all pretty much done right there, ready to go, and I really like these bags. They also have the, what's this called, the uh, um, nutritional facts information and the ingredients, got the barcode. It's a very professional looking bag. Don't just get, I strongly, I strongly advise you not to get just the regular plain bags. They look like you're, you're buying from a bread store and you, you just didn't want to get them printed. They're not that much to get printed. Now, especially if, if you're going this way. Now, if you want your own name on it, you can go to your local place. Any big city has them. And call me. Say, hey, I want to sample this bag because these guys wouldn't send me one. I'll send you one. That way you can say, look, I want this type of bag, this size, and or specify what the size is. Tell them you want your logo on it and the information on the back like this and they'll print it up for you and when you get it make sure you get thousands of them don't get hundreds it costs them almost as much to print 500 as 5,000 so keep that in mind now the other thing question I get as a three dollar bag five dollar bag and a seven dollar bag how long does it take to make it takes about seven to ten minutes you really want to think ten minutes more by the time you pop it cool it bag it it's about ten minutes and that's for one batch. What I call one batch is six cups of corn. And the recipe is this. Six cups of corn, two cups of sugar, or, or three cups of uh, oil, and two cups of sugar, and then some salt. And you can kind of just dash it on about that quick, and that's all the salt you need. So that's the recipe. That will produce two of these, two of these, and two of those, okay? That's about $30 worth of popcorn. And in about 10 minutes, you're going to make $30, and you you can on a busy day do about $150 an hour with a regular 80 part pop one batch type popper. Um, an auto stirrer, you can get eight cups instead of six, but you're still going to be um, bagging about the same space because it takes just as long to cool. So you're going to make about $150 to $180 an hour with an auto stirrer. And that, that's a lot on a big show, and, it, and it's kind of nice to have. Make sure you get 
Magic Mushroom Popcorn. Some people like this type, which I used here, which is the butterfly. I just wanted to get rid of it. Um, it breaks up easier. Um, it doesn't last as long. It tastes a little different. That's not necessarily bad. It's the same kind of popcorn you would get in a movie theater. And so the kettle corn popping popcorn, it just has a different texture that, that um, you need. So as a rule, you, you know, you're going to do pretty good. Now in the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about uh, where to go and how much the boosts are and where you get your chance. All right? So until then, kettle corn cousins, I'll talk to you later and be mighty. All right. See you later.